in getting a good workout and how to use the water to your advantage, okay? Because men and women, let's face it, we swim very differently, we work out very differently, we have different strengths and weaknesses. If you're wondering how to swim or make the best of your situation as a woman in the water, learning how to swim, getting a good workout, this video is for you. Smash that subscribe button and like button and let's get into it, okay, shall we? You'll notice that if you spend a lot of time at any swimming pool, you'll notice that men and women swim different techniques most of the time. And what I'm talking about is that men use a lot of upper body movements in their swimming, whereas women use more lower body movements when they swim. And what I'm talking about specifically is men, you typically associate doing this. And what's this? The butterfly, right? Or freestyle. Look it up right now. Just type in swimming butterfly, right? And you'll see like 99% of the time it's usually guys performing the butterfly. And why is that? Because butterfly is a very taxing upper body movement to perform. Okay, so you need really huge lats and big arms to pull in order to get your whole half of your body out of the water doing a butterfly. You don't see a lot of women performing this movement because unless the, the woman in particular wants to get really, really wide lats or really, really wide shoulders like the guys, then go ahead, do some butterfly. Men are just stronger in the upper body. That's why you see guys hogging the bench at your local gyms and getting that nice V tapered look that a lot of guys are striving for, especially for summertime. Use it to your advantage, guys. Keep doing more butterflies as you swim. Mix it up with your freestyle, okay? Everyone does freestyle. Freestyle is the standard. You see both men and women performing freestyle or front crawl, okay? That's the norm. But for women, you notice that instead of butterfly, women tend to do more back crawl exercises. And why is that? Well, as I said earlier, men, we all have stronger upper bodies, duh. And women, you have stronger lower bodies, okay? So use it to your advantage. And that's why you see, Google it up. Just type in swimming back crawl, backstroke. You see a lot of pictures of women doing this, the backstroke. And why is that? Well, this is what nobody tells you. When you're performing the backstroke, when you're moving your arms like this motion, like this, this does not require a lot of upper body strength. In fact, it's, it's, it's not really <laughs> a very taxing exercise compared to butterfly. This anybody can do, pretty much. It's very easy if you have a very weak upper body. Go ahead, keep doing this. All right, it'll tone you up. And ding, 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 that's a key word for women. They want that toning effect. So, this is why backstroke arms is very ideal for women. Are you just ignoring me while I was like, film or just like? <laughs> this is the key thing here. When you're doing backstroke, when you're kicking on your back, you use a lot more of your legs versus when you're doing front kick. When you're front kicking, or when you're kicking, when you're doing your front crawl, you're not really utilizing your legs that much. And what I mean utilizing, I mean like, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna feel the burn like you do when you're doing back kicking. You're gonna feel it in your quads, okay? You're gonna feel it in your legs. You're gonna feel it all over in your lower body when you're doing back kicking because you're using more of the water as you kick on your back. Leg extensions or like, you know those quad, uh, quad machine things that you see at your gym? Like, do like a hundred of those, okay? And do them one leg at a time. And you see what I mean. If you do that, that's the, it's like the same sensation as kicking on your back. As you can see, it's very taxing. Kicking the 
this up. So you see the water splashing? White water? Good. You can see my kicking comes from the hips down to the knees, down to the ankles, down to the toes. Whoosh, finish. Just like a, one of those CrossFit ropes. Like it just snapped like a whip. Who is this exercise suitable for? Women. Because women can keep this up much longer than men most of the time. And that's why you don't see a lot of guys doing backstroke or focusing most of the time on their back as they're swimming because it's just hard for us guys to keep up. Like we don't want big legs and that's why most of us don't squat. No, it's, it's just not our strength. Guys, go for the V tapered look, okay? From V down. Guys, should you be doing back kicking? Should you be doing back crawl? Yes, I encourage it, but that should not be your prime focus as you swim. You should be spending most of your time doing front crawl, breaststroke, and then venturing off into butterfly. Butterfly is that danger zone or that exclusive area for you guys. Whereas for women, again, primary focus should be front crawl and back crawl for you and breaststroke. Your specialty should be the back crawl or back kicking, okay? So now that's out of the way, I'm gonna show you some exercises for you ladies to perform. If you don't know how to back crawl or suck at it, okay? <laughs> what you wanna do, ladies, is get your legs up into this position here, okay? We call it the Spider-Man position. Your fingers are clenched to this wall, and your toes are in this hunch position right here, okay? So with every set, we want a good push-off in the beginning. When we push off, we tilt our head back and extend. Like that. For the arms, I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, I should be doing these kind of arms. These kind of backstroke arms that like, like you see all the time. But as I said in an earlier video, the problem with this, this arm is a lot of people suck at it, first of all. Second thing is, you notice that as I pull my hand out of the water, you see that water dripping? Do you see that? It's like no matter how good you are, no how efficient your backstroke arm is, you're still gonna get that water. And that water is gonna land straight into your face or into your mouth. And a lot of people accidentally drink water as you're doing back crawl. Because as you do back crawl, you have to keep your mouth open at all times. So, this is why I don't recommend doing this movement for you beginners, okay? Maybe later on when you're advanced, but what I recommend, if you don't like that, if you don't like getting water in your mouth, is to do this, okay? So what I'm doing right now with my arm, this is called sculling. Don't ask me where that word came from because I don't know what the hell that means. This, to me, is just saying hello and goodbye. <laughs> Waving, hello, goodbye. Okay, so just look at my arm and I want you to copy it. Just copy me, just see what I'm doing, okay? Do you see my hand? So out of the water, it looks like this. This is what I'm doing, okay? It's just like I'm pushing a girl to that side and I'm pushing a guy to that side. <laughs> Come over here, get away from me. Come over here, get away from me. And you notice that both sides are equally distributed, okay? One's not, uh, and then, uh, uh, uh. no, it's, it's equal. Equal, equal, both sides, okay? So I want you to, copy what I'm doing, and I want you to just pay attention to my thumb, okay? So if this is confusing for the first time, just follow the thumb. Do you see my thumb? My thumb is up, thumb is down. And as I'm doing it, you notice that my thumb is always at a, a, like a 45 degree angle, okay? My fingers, the rest of my fingers are closed, okay? So think of it this way, 45, and this side, 45. So I have to really crank it. So my pinky is that way, my thumb is this way. Cranking, okay? This is sculling. Okay, practice this on dry land a few times because it, it's confusing for a lot of people. 
You notice my elbow? You see my elbow's bending? So it's not an arm movement like this. I'm not doing this, no. My elbow's in the action, okay? But always keep that 45 degree. 45, 45, always 45 degrees, never straight. So never do this. Don't do this, okay? Don't do this. Always 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, okay? Now, next thing you do is you put your thumb in like this, and you should have like a spoon, like this, a nice spoon, okay? And this spoon's gonna help catch the water, or as they, as they say, or I'll say grab, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing some water, see? See the water? Grabbing it, that side, pushing it away to that side. So, 45, thumbs up, 45. Both hands, thumbs up, 45. Thumbs down, 45. Thumbs up, 45. Bring the water in. Thumbs down, 45. Bring the water away. Put it in the water. Cup your thumb. And this is sculling, right here. And this is a lot more efficient, a lot better in my opinion than doing this. <laughs> and then drinking the water. This is what it's gonna look like. Congratulations, you're swimming on your back. Once you get used to the mechanics, then your goal is to do one lap. Just complete one lap from there to there, and then two laps, then three laps, then four laps, and just keep going and going and going and going and going. Here are the benefits for you women to doing this exercise. First of all, you don't have to put your face in the water. I know that you don't like putting your face in the water, let alone your hair. Get a good swim cap, okay? Buy a good swim cap, get some good goggles, like these ones. If you don't know which ones to buy, click the link below. Goggles you don't really need, but I guess, I'm, sh I'm sure you probably want to do breaststroke and front crawl, okay? So, keep that in mind. What we do before? Okay, we have a Spider-Man pose, like this. Hands onto the wall, okay? We're crunched in a ball, okay? So we need a good push off the wall to get us started, okay? So what we're gonna do, lean our head back, and just like we lean our head back on a dentist chair, <laughs> and then we push with our legs and we extend our whole body that way, okay? So here's what it's gonna look like. And you look up, look up to the sky. And you can breathe normally. Right, because I'm not doing backstroke arms. Wow, look, my whole face is dry. I didn't put anything in my face in the water. Isn't that great? Don't worry about water getting in there. But when you're doing backstroke, like I said, when you do backstroke, you're gonna get this goddamn water dripping onto your face and mouth. Push, let's go. This is the perfect toning exercise, right here. Okay, look at that. Not much muscle involved when I'm backstroking. But a lot of power is involved in my legs. I can feel my legs right now. I'm just kicking really high. And look, there's a the wall. Grab the wall, push on. Look at my legs. They are burning. It's like I'm doing 100 reps of leg extensions at my gym. One leg at a time, one leg, two leg, one leg, two leg. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Look at my arm, Tony. And I'm breathing and talking to you guys. Women, give it a try. Stop making excuses, find a way, and this video is the way. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like the video, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and if you really wanna learn how to swim, click the link below, 7dayswim.co, that's my online swimming course, $27 gets you access to all you need to know to get started this summer and learning how to swim, okay? That's my online course, just like maybe just for you guys. Join our Facebook group, totally free. Be a winner, take action, and I'll see you guys next time. Sauna time for me, baby. Bye!